When I was first starting, we didn't have anything. We have definitely had some ups and downs along the way. There was a lot to learn, um, and that was scary. When I started this, I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. First of all, everyone thought the idea of making wooden spoons was a horrible idea. Entrepreneurs are willing to take the risk. They'll move into a blighted neighborhood with the vision of wanting to like turn it around. You can see what things are going to eventually become. That's part of being an entrepreneur. When I looked at this part, I was like, okay, I have no idea how to build this. And they wanted it right away. And I had no idea how to build it. So I learned. There is failure, right? But you work even harder. You know, you can quit. Obviously, we can always quit, but... Who wants to do that? You're always saying, why did I make that mark? I could have made it 10 times better. Being a pioneer in any part of your life is exhilarating. The idea of being scared throughout the process or losing confidence, I never had the time to think about it. There's something about the human condition where we love to make stuff. It's an honor to be able to be an artist. It's an honor to be able to have space to think about these things. To be able to give that now to the local youth and to give back is huge for me. Whenever I hear someone say to me, they should invent or someone should, I always look at people and say, so what's wrong with you doing it? Who is they? <laughs> You're they.